All right, welcome to another episode. Adam, what's going on, buddy? Hey, happy Easter. Happy Easter, dude. Yeah. yeah. And uh, here we show beaver. We don't show bunnies. No bunnies here. <laughs> no, no bunnies, just beavers. Uh, anybody new to the show, what we do is we show five items that we collected throughout the week and we're prepared to resell. And uh, because Canada's national animal is the beaver, after three items, we have a bonus round and we show something beaver related. So, Adam, were you able to find a beaver for this week's show? Oh, yeah, I have beavers waiting in line to be on the show. <laughs> Still, eh? So this, this was one of my favorites. Like I know I say it many times, but you always find something new. Yeah. And this beaver, I'm going to do a little tease. This beaver likes it when you play with it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> a playful beaver. He likes it when you play with it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I got one too. I got a couple, so I'll have uh, backup for next week. Um, but uh, overall, things have been really good. Like, sales are still going strong. I got a bunch of items going out tomorrow on eBay. And this weekend, crushed it. It being Easter at the booth, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just unbelievable really nice yeah, yeah i was on friday I was so busy yeah i couldn't even uh i left early uh about two hours before closing it was just too busy and i couldn't take stuff upstairs so i just focused on the downstairs booth um and then sunday i went back and uh it was the same kind of thing i was able to get some stuff in there in the morning so like today then, you went back is it today today's yeah it's sunday. Today. yeah today's sunday it so. was open yeah, it was open today, buddy. Nice. I had uh, some big sales, a couple big sales today. So, um, yeah, that was good. I was going to go to an auction on uh, Saturday, but we got busy Friday night and uh, didn't get to bed till late. So I just like, ah, I'll have to skip this one. So yeah, um, I, I didn't do any picking this week, uh, except I got a few items at the market. <laughs> I wanted for antique market. I, I saw them. On, I was there on Friday. I saw you. And I saw one item there, and I was on the fence of getting it. I went home and did some more research. I'm like, okay, if it's still there, I'm going to go get it. And I have it. So and oh. I, I got two items there. The other one, I haven't seen it there before. So and it looked cool. So we'll see. I don't know if it was any good, but I show you guys. Did uh, Was that out of my booth or? Your neighbor. Oh, my neighbor. It was right, right at, under your nose. It was there. Oh, you, geez. Could have, you could have picked it up and make some money. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward. I, I don't. I don't think. And it's like, like Canadian. Like really... Canadiana, Canadiana too. Canadian. It has some, it's some, it has some Canadian theme going. You'll okay. see. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing that. I'll be the um, last one I show because I think it's the best. Yeah. I I really, really I'm I'm just trying to clear out the mess that I have here. Like it's not it's not like a bad mess. It's just. I got to get to it because it's just money sitting sitting around. Like it's yeah, I've been crazy. listing too. I've been listing slides. I got that light table thing, that that board, so that helps me to photograph the slides. Yeah, and I'm listing them. I tried to put them on eBay first because it's free to list on eBay, and then copy them to Etsy, like using them cross list magic. But it's, it's it's so hard from eBay to Etsy. It's so much more work. It's so much easier if I put them on Etsy first. Yeah, and copy them to eBay from Etsy is. Three times, four times faster, even more. Yeah. It's just more makes more like I have to spend the money because Etsy charges me every listing. Yeah, but it's fine. And I cross listed everything, so Etsy start put them on Etsy, and then next day I cross list them to eBay. And the ones that sold, I already sold some photos. Old, I listed like forty six lots of photos. Everything has sold on eBay. So okay, maybe no one won't even bother on Etsy. Yeah, yeah. No, eBay's been so good uh i haven't i've i canceled the cross listing thing and a sneeze here i go for it my allergies but uh i canceled the cross listing thing because it's 40 bucks a month oh you have the, because you were using some other service i was using uh, uh perfectly. list perfectly right list perfectly no i use crossless magic ten dollars a month yeah, maybe, maybe maybe I'll. Uh, then you can you can stop to... one month or a few months if you. Th I'm not gonna cross this. I already did. On, so then you can resume again. So uh, ten bucks a month is worth it. I sold one thing for fifteen dollars. Not not expensive. Yeah. But that paid for that subscription, and I think it's way worth it for me. 
Well, ten dollars a month. Forty. Uh, that's. I think you were paying forty US too. Yeah, I don't know. This uh, might be ten dollars uh, US as well, but still, ten bucks. It's it's worth it. It's not. Yeah, ten, 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 ten bucks is much better. Uh, forty dollars plus you're paying twenty five cents American, which is basically thirty cents Canadian. Oh, for the listing. listing, yeah. So I just kind of like eBay's doing well enough. Like, why bother? Am yeah, I, sure. Maybe maybe for ten bucks, I'd give it another shot. And, uh, you know, if you you only have to sell that one item and then the whole month's worth it, right? So so far everything I have I have now I have all inventory. My two Etsy stores, my Ferma store and my hard goods stores are on eBay. I have everything here and here. Yeah, using that crossless magic, and yeah. so far eBay is outperforming Etsy. Yeah, right? eBay's been doing good. Yeah, I, I mean yeah. they have more traffic, anyways. The more more sure. people know about you. You got you ask any stranger on the street, hey, you know eBay? Yeah. You, uh, what about Etsy? What's that? Like most, like we know because we like people in the chat will know Etsy, eBay because we are resellers. Yeah. Like regular Joe Blow. <laughs> they, oh, they, they, yeah, they know. They, they don't, like some people might heard about Etsy, but those maybe who tried selling there might know about it. But mostly, even people at work, I tell them, yeah, like, oh, what's Etsy? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, eBay, I know, but what's Etsy? So that's that's general speaking. That's why eBay might be better and get more eyes on it. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I, I, I won't argue that eBay has definitely been best for me by far. So. But you know what? If if it takes you a couple minutes to cross list a few items, yeah. the only thing I don't like about Etsy is that initial fee. Yeah, and, uh, and, and, then and if it was a fee for a year, it's a lot different. But it's only good for what three months, four months, four months, and it's like usually it would auto renew because that's like default. Yeah, unless you change it to. I always change higher. it. Yeah. yeah. I always change it. But that's extra stuff you have to remember to do because if you leave it, they're just gonna auto renew, auto renew. Yeah, and many times I just when I first I did it, I put it on Etsy. Then everything, whatever expired, I then put it on eBay. That was like that's how I used to do it, and then well, sell on eBay. But now I just go right away here and here, and whatever yeah. it gets it first gets it first. And and I get better shipping rates through eBay, much yeah, better. That's also and that you know it used to be the case. It's new. Yeah. So yeah, eBay the FedEx option. Like Canada Post is the same rates. eBay and Etsy for me is not not different, but but eBay has the UPS sometimes it's very good rate, or the FedEx one is very it might, it might way better rate for bigger items or stuff even going to Europe is cheaper yeah. using FedEx. Yeah. All right. How how's everything going for you this week? Then you've been busy. Everything's good. Yeah, just mostly listing stuff. Yeah, lots yeah. of listing like listing the slides. So didn't really go any. Special picking didn't go any thrifting, I don't think. Okay. Everything I have is from last week. And yeah, I was listing some stuff from that auction I got. Yeah. And I didn't know I had stuff that I had. Well, <laughs> it's, it's always good. It surprised me. So I'm going to show you guys. I was surprised. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to dig into a few things too that I found. So it's always good, always good to find that kind of stuff. Uh, Carl, maybe he's not with us tonight. Have a great show, but he yeah, was first. So uh, eating some chocolate bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> swamp, swamp, uh, second, and uh, swamp. I, uh, I don't know if you read that or not, but uh, I might have some items here that you can find some interest. Like you might have have some advice for them, or uh, you're going to be knowledgeable in that area. Put it that way. Grouchy fish is in the house. Say hey, hi, guys. I'll take third. Hey, Grouchy. yeah, that's respectable, Grouchy. Nice, respectable third place. Ken, fourth. Looks like, yeah, well, nothing wrong with fourth, Ken. As long as you're here, that's the main thing. Uh, everybody's saying hi. Hi, 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 Swamp. Ah, Randy's in the house. And of the gang, saying hi to us and the gang. Good to see Randy here. Uh, Carl and I have a channel, Reseller Evolution, which is our podcast, and uh, Randy knows about it, and... Go over there and listen and leave a comment if you want. And uh, everybody's saying hi to Randy there. Oh, Justin's in the house saying hi all. I saw Justin and Marie's uh, uh, Instagram posts. They were they were busy. Lots going on there. I think they did a little traveling. Uh, I bet it's safe to say that's not apple juice in that glass, Adam. It's not apple juice. You guys want to see what it is? Well... 
Well, you, you, blow me up. I'll okay. <laughs> and make sure everybody sit. Good. Make sure everybody sit down because yeah, gonna... well, this is just to get the show better ratings. <laughs> this is Canadian beaver juice reserve. <laughs> Twenty-five years. <laughs> 40 uh, percent pure 40 percent proof nothing like a bottle of beaver juice cheers yeah that's all the beavers i collected for the show i juice them so do you, do you mix that or you just drink it straight it's kind of tastes maki straight so i do mix a little bit of ginger ale but okay. that beaver taste is still there okay huh and uh <laughs> 11th for harry Harry Humstone, good to see you. Thumbs up here. for beaver juice right now. The, if you like beaver juice, hit the <laughs> like button. Yeah, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like beaver juice or no. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Thanks, uh, Marie. Thanks for the uh, the link there. Uh, saying hi to Harry. Chop Chop's in the house. Made it. Nice. Good to see Chop Chop here. Hey. Everybody's saying hi, hi, hi. What's up, Marie's Chop Chop and Grouchy Fist saying hi, hi, hi. So everybody's saying hi to everybody. I'm glad to see so many people in here on Easter. I wasn't yeah. sure. Uh, if Carl's not here, he cannot claim first. I, you know what, Harry? I think I agree with that. That's a good rule. That's a good rule. If you're not going to be in the in the chat, you you can't claim first. So that puts Swamp first. Yeah. And Grouchy agrees. I had a. Facebook Marketplace sale yesterday. Nice. The guy was so happy with it, he paid 10 more than I was asking. Oh, what did you sell? What did you sell, Grouchy? That's awesome. Yeah, that's Those great. are fun sales, Grouchy. We've had a few of them, too. Nice. Yeah, those. You, you get more than you ask for big. And... I just listened to my first two things ever on Macari tonight. Well, that's a good point uh, to bring up Macari because Macari is switching it over from what I understand. Free, free uh, listings. And no fees. No fees. But is it just limited time, or is it? Uh, uh, it sounds to me like that's the, that's the that going. list on March thirty first, which is today. That's what I read. You, there is no fees, but what about tomorrow? Uh, no, I think it's no fees going forward. Um, there was a I, I watched uh, shed flips. Okay, and, uh, Lonnie and Candace were talking about it. They're changing a few things. I think they do take a fee when you. When you ask to have your money withdrawn, mm -hmm. but you can, you know, you can do it once a week, once a month. It's up to you, right? So the more time you want it withdrawn, there's just like an administration fee of two bucks or something. Um, or I maybe the two bucks wasn't even mentioned. It was just, it's just a fee. So I, I shouldn't say how much it is because I don't, I don't really know. 2% or something maybe. Yeah, maybe. No I fees not good to me. I'm not interested in Mercari. I'm McCarthy and Etsy. It's enough for me to to manage. <laughs> uh, it is motocross. It is motocross swamp, hundred uh, percent. Except to feel like Macari pushing the fees on the buyers may not go over well. Hey, yeah. that's that's fine with me, um, because I'm on eBay. So I agree, Murray. I agree. Uh, and the beaver juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, I personally love beaver juice. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty good, I tell you. <laughs> Found you on Instagram. I don't know. Is that me, Swamp? I haven't anything posted. I just have the account. Uh, I sold them two diecast car models. Nice. That's that's good, Grochi. Must be in good shape if he's pretty happy, right? So uh, I went to surprise Justin's sister for the birthday in Nebraska. It was freezing there. Oh, okay. Nebraska. Is it normally cold there this time of year? I, I don't know. I here too today, but it wasn't it was nice, but it was chilly. It was windy. Here, but Nebraska. Yeah, I don't know about Nebraska. I don't know. I don't know. I would imagine it's cold. I'm thinking that's like kind of southish of uh like Alberta Nebraska. and all that. <laughs> Nebraska, Alaska. <laughs> yeah. It sounds right. cold. <laughs> uh Transfer money two dollars each. Okay. Transaction. Okay. It's two dollars. Transfer, okay. transfer of money. Okay. So it is two bucks then. Okay. All right. So yeah, swamp. It is uh, some motocross related, and we'll see. I don't know. It was free to me, 
uh, I was at a yard sale. I bought something. I was looking at uh, some stuff, and they told me to take it. So, but there's definitely money there. I'm just uh, not 100 percent sure. But uh, all right, Adam, we're going to start showing our five things each. Or do you got anything else to say first? Um, nothing to say really. <laughs> okay. Does the beaver juice kind of get you stoned or not, or is it is it pretty mellow, or how's it? Well, it's like it's like forty percent proof. <laughs> hard, hard liquor. Yeah. Yeah. So not stoned. I just right. just tipsy. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of uh, things I could say right now, but I am not going to. <laughs> oh, and Swamp, my mom says hi back because you said hi last week. So they are Midwest. So yeah, it gets super cold there at times. Okay. I uh, sent you Instagram message. Okay. There we go. That's why I heard go off. Uh, I will read it while Adam shows his first item. Yeah, just one thing before I say uh, show it. it uh, for, for Canadians, maybe US too, not sure, but tomorrow Canada Post is closed. So, yeah. Oh, is it tomorrow? Don't, don't yeah. go out tomorrow because they're going to be closed. Okay. Ship your stuff on Tuesday. All right. First item on the block. Anybody? Two dollar bit, two dollar bit, five, five. Can I have five? <laughs> we should do that. So this was, it's a, like a frame, picture frame. And this was in that auction lot where I got that silver wallet. So there was some picture frames like this. And there was a silver sterling silver wallet, and there was also a shoehorn and a coat brush, like antique one. Oh, so I, I didn't think much of it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just a frame. Uh, but then, so I, I cut, it's easy to take out because it just slides out. Yeah. So it's actually the frame is 24 karat gold plated, which is, okay. I guess, good now. Not but brass. The picture, let's see if it comes out. Because it's on the uh, behind the glass, and the glass is like convex. It's, it's yep. like bubble glass. It's very you yep. can't see. It's, it looks straight, but it, it has yep. a curve. Yeah. So which is pretty cool. But I'm like I'm looking closer at this. What's inside there? And I look in the back. I mean that got my attention. Like see how shiny it is. Yeah. And then, then I got the loop, and there is like an imprint. It says Kodak paper. So it's a photo, but it's painted over. It's like hand colored with paint. You can like when I put the loop to it, you can see the details, like the texture. I don't know if it's like watercolor. I, I don't. I don't know the paint. I'm not paint expert, but it's a, it's a photograph on Kodak paper that somebody hand colored painted it over. So it's one of a kind. Which is pretty cool. I put it up for sale for seventy five bucks with the frame. Okay. But huh. it's like original. It's like art basically, yeah. but it's tracing art. But the, all the coloring is paint. And 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 what did you uh, did you say you listed it? Yeah, for seventy five bucks. Seventy five, okay. In in the frame and everything. Yeah, yeah, with the frame and everything. Okay. I I just thought maybe just the frames because the frames have some value because I think they're pretty old. Okay. But I'm like now this is another. This is makes it more more special because somebody might want the now might want this just collecting people. I sold hand colored uh, photographs before. Yeah. But that was like. I guess pencil color or something. There was no texture. Here you can see the paint texture on it. Okay. So it's nice. pretty cool. So yeah, that's that's interesting. When sure. you look at that frames in Value Village, that small section of the picture frames. Yeah. Just take a double look. What's inside that frame? And take a loop, or you use your iPhone, your cell phone to zoom in. And if there is no dots, matrix dots, then you have some original art. Huh. That was a nice surprise. Yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. Next to finding a hundred dollar bill behind that picture. Yeah, almost like that. Yeah, like fifty dollar bill. Yeah, fifty dollar. Uh, they get hail the size of quarters and half dollars. Wow. Oh wow, we supposed to get some snow uh, on Wednesday morning. No swearing on this channel. Who's swearing? You said the snow word. Oh. <laughs> So I'm like, whoa, I didn't drink that much juice yet. <laughs> uh, I believe it's funky weather in the Midwest. Huh. Uh, I like beaver juice on the rocks, on the beach, or back of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Chop Chop. Wow, Chop Chop. 
I'm just having it on the live show. <laughs> uh, I much prefer weather here. Yeah, for sure, Murray. You would. You guys. You guys don't really get snow. I don't think on the on the coast, the west coast. And uh, laughing at Paul. Uh, hey, Dark Lord's here. Good to see Dark Lord. I'm late. Net connection acting up. Good to watch you guys tonight. Ah, yeah. good to see you here. Thanks so for all all the was just some beaver juice sipping. Yeah, so <laughs> just uh, cracked open the, the beaver juice. So you're just in time, Dark Lord. Uh, cool picture, Adam. Never seen anything like it. Yeah, I, uh, first time I found something like that. I, I was never even looking out for stuff like that. But it's paint. It's paint. Like brushed. Oh. Brush, you yeah. can see the brush chokes. Nice, and uh, swamp just uh, made a sale. Cool, chiching. Would you sell? Yeah, would you? Where did you sell? Uh, not a lot. And when we do, it's not here for long. Okay, a lot, of, lot more rain though. I think if it's anything like Vancouver, which I think you're just south of Vancouver. Uh, what's my first item tonight? Oh, this is for Swamp. Swamp. First item. So, it was a bunch of stuff in a tote. It was a long tote, no lid. But it was tons of... I'll just show these. It's tons of motorcycle posters, racing, that kind of stuff. And those are about this big, but there's other ones this big. So this guy was not there. His mother was doing the yard sale, but he she yard said his sale? mom rode motocross. Did you go and to the yard sale on the weekend? What's that? Was the yard sale on the weekend? No, this was like oh. October, the end of the last year. Okay, okay. I'm just getting to it now. It was in my garage. <laughs> but all these posters are signed, so oh, I have right. to go through them. But I did see a couple of them listed for the hundred dollar range, and then one sold for thirty three. So I don't know. I'm sure it depends on who the guys are. These all seem to be early two thousands, two thousand six, two thousand ten was the latest. Um, but some of them are like this one's double signed. Two guys here. So I don't know if they're going to be worth anything. Is it? Like hard to sell, but both of this, if you can see, both are signed. Honda. That should be good. So I'll have to see if these guys are worth anything, but I don't know if you can see it there. They signed in silver. And so there's a bunch of those. And there was some banners, which I'm gonna put in the booth. Oh yeah. So this was racing, distributing. Oh, Royal, Royal Distributing. Come on. You don't know oh, that's Royal or Racing? Royal. Royal Distributing. Right, Royal. It's, there you go. It's like a store that sells uh, more motorbike stuff and snowmobile oh. equipment and stuff like this. Okay. There's one like oh. north of, uh, south of Berry. I don't know the, if there's any other locations, but it's a popular store. And then this is Polaris. This one oh, yeah. does have a rip in the ass. That's like more the, the Royal Distributing and this is I think more like snowmobile. The what? Sorry. Like Royal Distributing. Yeah. And the Polaris uh, is like more snowmobiling kind of theme. Okay. And then this one's cloth. It's a cloth banner. This is large. KTM. Yeah. But it's cloth. But that's good. What do they make? They make motorcycle parts or motorcycles? What's that? Sorry, ATM. what's that? ATM. What do, what do they make? Motorcycle uh, parts? I looked it up briefly before we went on live. It's an Australian motorcycle company. But there's a lot of posters here with them in there. And yes. then... Said that's his, he has a KTM shop. What's that? And this one's going to the booth too. What's that? So I'm saying that he has a KTM shop. That's his okay. shop. Oh, Honda. And this that's is plastic. Cool. That's like Honda motorcycles, yeah. Yeah. They're big in the motocross, yeah. Is that upside down? Yeah, but I can read it. You get the idea. <laughs> but. Yeah. 
That was all free. That's what I had when I was a kid was Hondas. That's what we mm. drove. On the farm, we had uh, Honda dirt bikes and uh, three-wheeler. Uh, this all jumped up on me here. Just There we go. Cha-ching. Uh, Dark Lords here. Have some beaver juice now and then. Oh, well, good for you, Dark Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, lots of lots of rain. Okay. Uh, KTM. I have a KTM shop. Oh, okay. There you go. So you know all about KTM. They seem to be very popular with all the posters. That's probably fifty percent of KTM. Uh, how about you sell the empty beaver juice bottle on eBay? Oh, I can have hundreds of them. <laughs> uh, some can be good money depending on who it is. That's what I assumed. And because they're like they're from the early two thousands, I just figured they're probably not worth much. And but I don't know if like probably the more modern guys are probably more. I don't know. Oh, there is one more. I have one more actually. I have a rock star banner. Oh yeah, like the energy drink. That's gonna sell quick. Yeah. So this one is a good one. And it's plastic as well. I don't know if you can see it or not. But a little bit big, but anyways, I'll sell those on the booth. That's um, gonna, gonna like hang them out up, up up to the top. Yeah, in the downstairs booth. Because they're gonna take lots of room, like lots of wall space, I guess. Not behind, not up where I have nothing. Okay, yeah, like very high. Yeah. You'll see. You know where all my display cases are at the back wall? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hang them on that back wall. I'm off. Yeah. Austria. Okay, Austria. Okay. Austria. Uh, I've been to Royal Distributing before. They sell a ton of motorcycle, motocross stuff too. Okay, yeah. I've been there in the winter time, so they had a snowmobile season, but I guess... That's true. Yeah, they do. They do like like motocross and snowmobiling. Uh, the Yamaha trail riding bikes, dirt bikes, nice. And uh, the Rockstar sign will sell fast. Yeah, that's popular stuff. Uh, I've been to the KTM factory. Mm, wow. Oh, oh, is that? Uh, I mean, I'm sure they have one in the U.S. Right? I'm assuming so. Yeah, I see. I don't know. It's going to be a lot to go through, so I don't know. As far as the posters and stuff, I'm going to assume that the posters that aren't signed are, are not worth anything. But again, the whole group was free, so. Well, maybe the not signed ones load them together. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work, but if they're, yeah, maybe. maybe if they're not like bent and damaged, if you have them in like nice, if they have their pieces, I, yeah. Yeah, and there's some decent size, like they're not overly big, and like they're like this, so somebody might like it for the year of that bike or something maybe, right? Yeah, because so. they have cool stuff on them. Uh, factory in Austria. Oh, where they built the bikes 2013. Oh, well, that's cool. That would have been a fun trip. Nice. nice. Um, no, I figured that one you would know exactly what's going on with that for sure, Swamp. So, so, anyways, that's my first item, and uh, those were free, and uh, just getting to them today. So, oh wow, free whole garage full of that crap, all sorts of different shit, stuff, stuff. All right, buddy, you're up, as you know, Adam, because you've been here and you've seen the chaoticness. Yeah, it's not so bad. Just stuff everywhere. <laughs> I know. So item number two is similar to item number one because it came in the same lot. I bought, so this came together with that uh, silver sterling purse and I and and the uh, silver sterling silver wallet, those Ambro types that yeah. that painted Kodak photo, and then yeah. these things, and that was ninety dollars for everything. And this year, so again, yeah. oh. I looked at them. They're cool. They're, I think, very old, too, of this kind of hanging, and then you can put them out. Oh, I know what this, the bag is called. 
felt, <laughs> the felt back. Yeah. So when I slide them out, I'm just going to do one because they're similar and similar, similar uh, subject. Yeah. There's like a big, large flower pot and like a small figurine there. Okay. So I took them out and these are on like just the paper. Yeah. And again, this is original painting. There's no print. There's like, and it has a signature here. And they both have the same signature. Oh. Wow. And yeah, original art. So I'm selling them as art both together. And I, again, I think I put them for $75 together. Now, because it's not print, this is actual art. Yeah. And they call it miniature painting or something. Yeah. Now, did you uh, Google that person's name? Yeah. Nothing really comes out. Nothing. So there was another third frame. There was a third one like this. And this is also convex glass. I cleaned the glass. It was pretty dirty because this, yeah. this, these are old. Everything was old from that estate. Um, there was another picture, another one frame like this, and it had a photo of like some old old lady. So I think she was the the painter. Okay. So that one I donated to Goodwill, <laughs> but I'm, I kept the art. Original art is not print. It has brush strokes. You can see it through the loop. Nice. And it's nicely uh, signed. And there's two of them. So I put them together, I think, for $75 as well. Or maybe $125, something like that. I don't know how much I listed them for. $75 now, do you think, to $100. Do you think that's like a Royal Dalton or something? Like what figurine is that? Does it say? It doesn't say. It just has the personal name. and the, But it's like some, I don't know, very, I don't know, figurine. I just called it still life, still life art. Yeah, yeah. On, painted on paper. And it's original. Right and signed by the artist so it's neat yeah yeah i like her art like somebody took their time to draw this and paint it and it, it should have value right so they're on your ebay both i have a thing is here and here shippingvintage.com now it goes to my ebay store when you go there before i used to go to my etsy store because yeah. i got the better stuff on etsy but now i have he stuff here and here so if you go to shippingvintage.com yeah you get my ebay store okay it's not That's a website it just goes to my ebay store so okay redirect all right very good you can buy them send yeah. me an and, offer and the uh, <laughs> curve the curved glass is pretty good too the, the witch the curved glass. Yeah, the, the frame itself, people sell for like forty dollars. Just the frames. Yeah, because yeah. they're, they're pretty like old. I think I put vintage, but they might be even uh, like on the verge of antique. Like could be like early twenties, nineteen twenties, or even maybe before that. But I, I don't know for sure. So I just said vintage metal frame, convex glass with miniature paintings, original art signed by the artist. Like I eBay. The thing about eBay and Etsy. Difference like that I prefer Etsy. Like Etsy, the title character limit is like 140 characters, so you can have way longer titles. Like you don't have, you can just type type whatever keywords and it's fine. Yeah, eBay is the 80 characters is almost half the length that you can have on Etsy. So that's the only like easier. Thing. Like you don't have to mess like change the title to make it fit. Like there you can just type it whatever is in your head, whatever you want, and it fits. And eBay you have to sometimes. You have to play around. Play with it. I just put short like VTG for vintage or like XMAMS for Christmas or put some other like acronyms yeah. or just don't even mention stuff because there is no room to mention it. You only have 80 characters, right? Yeah, and Etsy is 140. And I, I don't know why eBay would limit that, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, when they have uh, pro racers... They have autograph sessions. You can get anything signed. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's probably why they're all signed, for sure. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, but you gotta be there to get a sign. Like people yeah, buy so you, they, they, they don't be there. There is a convenience, right? So you can charge the convenience fee. So right? if this guy was a pro racer himself, you know, maybe he went there, or maybe they have amateur and pros, and it's a whole day event type thing. I don't know. Don't know exactly how it works, but. He must have been to all the shows, right? Yeah. Like even, like, even like this Canadian souvenir, uh, 
you have to be here in Canada to buy it. Like if you're in Australia, if you're in Germany, if you're in Philippines, you have to go on eBay and buy it. And that's where we come in. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. What is the time uh, there? The clocks went forward here. Well, we did that a couple weeks ago. 8.35 p.m. 8.35. Yeah. One thirty-five a.m. Chop Chop's a trooper, man. Stay wow. up late. We appreciate it, Chop Chop. Always good to have you here, for sure. Uh, my second item is a hat. Canadian tobacco. That sounds brand like new. our region here. It's like brand new. Mm. It's like mint condition. So I had a bunch I took into the booth. They were like co-op and everything, Norfolk co-op, that kind of stuff for here. But this one I kept, I'm going to put it online just because it says tobacco, Canadian tobacco. So. Produce Canadian what? What's the last word? Proud, Canadian proud. Okay. Um, yeah, it has the maple leaf and the tobacco leaf as the logo. And no, but there's no beaver. So. Yeah. I, I, I'll put it for like 40 bucks, $39.95. See what happens. But you think that's good? Yeah, try it. Like, try it. You don't, you don't seem too enthused, uh, Adam. I mean, Canadian tobacco, like, because, like, tobacco advertising has been banned, right, from, like, TV and, and sport events oh, many years that, ago. Oh, you think that's going that to be okay, though? Cigarette so. smoking, but so it might be more more desirable now. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I, well, I had the, just sold it last week, a Wonderland brochure, ephemera. Yeah. From the 80s. And there was a map of Wonderland. We are in Canada, and the sponsor was Player Cigarettes, and that sold within one day for thirty-five bucks. Oh, okay. I, mean, I didn't. It didn't sell for the cigarettes, but it sold for the Wonderland bit. But still, I think you know, this this is just tobacco. Yeah, well, I mean, they we, they still produce tobacco around here. I it's think a smoker's smoker. going to buy it. A smoker will buy it probably, yeah. right? <laughs> or, or you know, you never know. Or like some hat collector or maybe a tobacco farmer or somebody that has some uh, uh, nostalgia to tobacco farming or smoking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. No, I just figured I'd, I'd give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, my hat is been cool hat. It's just different. Some young people, will, oh, this hat, nobody else has it. I'm gonna rock it out, right? Yeah, be like and, that. Uh, hats have been selling pretty decently for me, so they kind of fell off the the bandwagon, I guess. I don't know. There was a time there where they weren't selling that well, and then all of a sudden they picked up. So I had another hat go out uh, during like last week. So uh, I have to be up uh, this late to get the lead of the the let off the school roof. Uh, well, be caught. <laughs> He's scrapping. <laughs> ah. <laughs> chop, chop. Uh, tobacco hat may do better locally since you live in tobacco yeah, country. Like on the booth, but... Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, I think some young kids might, might like it, too. Like, it just... It's like a cool hat, a different... Like, yeah. you know, like... It's just in great shape. It looks brand new. You know what I mean? Without tags. But, I mean, nobody's wore it. So, I thought I'd give it a shot online, see what happens. And I put around 40 bucks. Somebody offered me 30 bucks. I'll take it for sure. All my hats in my booth are, are $10. So, uh, oh, yeah, there are some good ones there. I'm like, hmm, I should get that one just for myself even. <laughs> yeah. Vintage Vanier. Good to see Vintage Vanier here. Hello. Um... Saying hi to everyone and peeps. Uh, Grochi saying hi back. All right, buddy. What's your third item? All right. This one is from a thrift store. Did I have... I don't know. If I, I got it a few weeks ago. And I still haven't listed it because it's kind of bulky. But I should get it listed. But similar to what I showed last time. I'm looking for the price tag if I still have it on there, but probably took it off. Well, I think it was like ten dollars or eleven dollars. Value Village, out of all places, you get it the right way up. <laughs> and it was in the blanket section, so it like has some fr freeze here, and oh, I don't know if it will show. Oh yeah, and then it has like a sh sail ship. 
Yeah, it has cool power and it has those lines follow on the bottom. Nice. And it's very soft to touch. It's almost it feels like wool and it's all like woven, like hand woven or I don't know, but no no maker tags, nothing like that. But pretty cool beach, palm tree. And uh, I think there is a sail ship somewhere there. Yeah, I saw the sailboat. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, interesting for 10 bucks. I'm like, somebody's going to give me 100 for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does it have a well, brand it name? It feels very soft. Like I, when they touched it, it just feels quality. Is there a brand name? No, no brand name. No. So it's like Caribbean, I don't know. Nautical. Sure the origin is. I Google Lens did. And nothing, nothing like that out there. So it'll be one of a kind, but somebody will like it. And it's nice and soft. Like the, it feels very good. Yeah, it's good condition too. Cheryl, good to see Cheryl here listening and getting ready for bed. All right, Cheryl. Well, thanks for coming by and yeah. uh, thanks for listening. And uh, I'm assuming you're going to work tomorrow. So have a good day at work tomorrow. And uh, Vintage Vanier saying hi to Chop Chop and Grouchy. And looks kind of like a Mexican blanket, but more colorful. Yeah, but do they have palm trees in Mexico? That's kind of, I don't know. Yeah, they have palm trees in Mexico. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Chop Chop saying hi to Cheryl. Alrighty. No, blank. I do well with blankets at the booth. Yeah, and this is like moving, right? It's not like... And it's not poly. I think it's wool. I don't know exactly what the material is, so I won't yeah. be saying any keywords about material because I don't know. But it feels very nice. And I don't think Cheryl. it's polyester. Cheryl's got to get up at two a.m. Oh my god! You crazy? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> wow! Saying hi to Chop Chop. Uh Insane. All right. So my third item, Adam, is something uh, you will doing a bank, like a bank job or something. <laughs> uh, Chris is here saying that blanket is from Mexico. It is the arch? Oh, okay. So oh, oh no, you can capture that because ooh, boom, I got it. <laughs> so he's been going there since '95, so he knows. It is the arch in Cabo San Lucas. Okay, cool. Thank you, Chris. I will. Yeah. Do some more research and I'll probably use those for keywords. All right, good to see Chris in the house. And uh, this one here, Adam, you like cameras? Sure. You kind of so, choppy. I'm choppy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you are. Who's using your internet? <laughs> yeah, really, eh? I don't know. It's just a pink, pink camera or oh, Sony. Yeah, okay. It's a pink Sony camera. It's about, they go for about 200 bucks. Oh, wow. Well, how many megapixels is that? Uh, can you see the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see the model number. DC. There it is. Okay. So you can type in the model number. So does it have what kind of batteries? Double A's or special square battery? Special square battery, but I don't have a charger. So I got to find a charger. I have a bunch, so yeah, I might even have the one. Be a, you, you won't have a charger for that one. I, you might I have won't. to order it from like Amazon. Well, I might have another camera like this. Okay. And if I do, then I'll have a charger maybe with it. So that's what I'm hoping because I have a whole bag of cameras. So I have to get to my cameras. But the it's kind of getting purplish here. But it's actually a nice. It's a nice pink. Can you see it as being pink? Yeah, pink. Okay. So it's a nice pink, and the pink one is what goes for about two hundred bucks. Oh wow. So. Um, if it's working, obviously I have to charge it, but if it's working, then that's good. Yes, so. probably it is working. I, I wouldn't say why it wouldn't be. So it might be worth to pay by the charger for $12 on Amazon. Okay. Like, I have Amazon Prime if you need it. I, I get free shipping. So Yeah, no, we... Steph's got Prime. I don't use Prime, but yeah, I just... Yeah. So she I can order use that the... if you need to. But that would be the first place I would look for on Amazon. Put the camera and model number and charger, and if they, they should have it there. All righty. And Chris is saying happy Easter. Happy Easter to Chris. Yeah, happy Easter, buddy. Uh, saying hi, hi, hi. Uh, does Adam like cameras? Does a bear move with the woods? Yeah, well, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. And uh, <laughs> I picked up a band... Uh, Hand carved eagle. 
Oh, Chop Chop's here. Eagle and Salmon by Harold Patrick. I think he is a Canadian. Has anyone heard of him? I have not. I heard of Eagles and Salmon. Yeah. <laughs> but not of the guy. <laughs> well, what the heck just happened here? How come that did that? Well, it's all good. Oh, you know, it just, all my comments just disappeared. So. Oh. Well, Chop Chop was the last comment. Well, it says, it. Grouchy did say, does Adam like cameras and does a bear poop in the woods? But uh, the only thing I can say is that. One, two, three. Stop. It's beaver time. It's beaver time. Three Ooh. items. And uh, Grouchy was talking about woods and bears and pooping and uh, eagles and salmon by Chop Chop. So I think we got to go to beavers now. So, well, let's. What, what do you got for your beaver? Anybody new to the channel? What we do after three items? We have a bonus round. Canada's national animal is the beaver, so we're going to show a beaver. Beaver related item. <laughs> so this beaver, as I mentioned in the beginning of the show, likes to likes it when you play with it. And I'm pretty proud of finding this beaver. I've probably seen it before many times, or a few times, and I just passed by it. But now because we do beaver time, I'm like. Phew. Like where, like it was like holy grail. Anyways, here it is. Wow, look at this little guy. Ah, is that a beaver? Yeah, it's beaver. <laughs> but I, I knew <laughs> it looks like a bear. <laughs> it looks look like a bear with a look at the tail. But I know I knew you're gonna be questioning my beaver choice. I wouldn't question your beaver. Not with but, a tail okay, I'm gonna back it up. Like I have some uh, provenance for this beaver. Okay, provenance. Canada Poly. Oh. Beaver. Nice. It's, nice. A, it's a board game. And so it's like a Monopoly with all the money and the cards. So it has A. A. Oh, yeah. Beaver, shoot down your favorite tree. Lose a turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. And the beaver is one of the... What do you call those? The pieces you play with. Like yeah. you know, Monopoly has the car and the yeah. Yeah. symbol and all the other ones. So Beaver is one of the Canadian pieces. There is other ones. There's like a hockey stick. There is a skate and maple leaf. Wow. Yeah. And Beaver. And <laughs> this is right there. That's Beaver hilarious. chewing some wood, of course. Like they love the wood. That's a good game. That's a good one. Yeah, it was like five bucks at Value Village. What? Five ninety nine. Yeah. Wow. Go Canada. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. I like it. You may, I might give it to you. Put it in the booth. I don't think it has much value online. Yeah, and it's complete. It has everything. Like it's yeah. nice. All right. Uh, Cheryl's here. Adam has a book of all Canadian animals. You know. <laughs> we know for sure. I, I there is there is. Canadian beaver, there is also a mountain beaver. Oh. Yeah, there is other beavers, so I will show the mountain beaver one time. Okay. <laughs> I have to catch it first. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to say another thing. I'm, I'm waiting for maybe Chop Chop or someone to say something. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about uh, mountains and beavers, but... Uh... Like, Chop Chop already said he likes beavers on the rocks, right? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to uh, dark dark rocks. Bring on, bring on the beavers. <laughs> Where he's laughing and uh, Cheryl, tokens. tokens, yeah, game too. token. Yes, yeah. Cheryl has the proper uh, names for everything. Ah, Ainsley's here, uh, likes it. Uh, that game looks like fun, eh? <laughs> I went to Vegas once and I was playing poker, and as soon as I said A, everybody at that table said, Oh, Canadian, like that. And I'm like, <laughs> What? But, uh, yeah. Uh, Ainsley, say hi to Ainsley. Uh, what do you do with the, all your beavers? Oh, good question. So I make question. beaver juice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do sell them, though. I do sell many I sold already. And, and some of them I just keep and look at them. Yeah, I put a few of them in the booth, but a lot of them are just 
around here. As I well. think I sold eighty percent of the beavers I shown here on the show. And I probably so, have the like, ones in the books, like the animal tracks and books. I just keep them. Yeah, I probably have eighty percent just laying around here. So, hey Ainsley, good to see Mother's mustache is in the house. Uh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> Oh, maybe I didn't get that. Maybe that was. Uh, what do you do with all your beavers? Huh. I think Mother Mustache knew my answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool find. Likes that. Saying hi, 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 hi. But I know, like the. I, I'm not sure it's hundred percent true, but like the, there is different Onopoly games, right? There is like Catopoly, Beeropoly. There is yeah. different teams, and I even had the Geropoly, and that's also like hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, I think many of those Oli games, yeah, like Oli games, that they like zero on eBay or something. Like you're not supposed to put them, and you might get in, get your listing zapped. But oh, wow. I do see them listed, and many many times you would see people listing this stuff, listing there. But then you you list it, and they zap it for you. Like oh, we removed this listing; you're not allowed to sell it. I'm not sure if it's true, but I heard about it like something like that. Well, Justin saying it's illegal to sell wet beaver. I don't. <laughs> uh, no comment. I mean, but I don't sell them wet. I, I make sure they dry. <laughs> uh, there is Twin Peaks above a mountain beaver. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of where trapped. I was headed. You yeah, should have a good. comedy show, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was headed with that one as well. Uh, chop Chop. Uh, or A Glenn saying hey to Glenn. All right. I, I hate following up my beavers with Adam's beavers because they just never stand up. But. Uh, this one, I, I think I didn't Google it. I think it's a beaver. <laughs> yeah. If you from here it looks like a beaver, nice. just trust me, it's a beaver. Yeah, I so see. I it. think this is a uh, Boy Scout patch, maybe. There was a bunch of patches, but I don't I don't know. I didn't Google Lens it, but yeah, there is yeah. definitely it's an embroidered beaver. It's an embroidered beaver. Cool. But uh I don't know. That's that's French too, so I'm not hundred percent sure what that patch means. I'll have to but there was like a Boy Scout belt. I had this in a box in the in the garage, so I'm not even sure. But uh, there was a there was a little pin, which I took it throughout, like took out of my pocket. But in it, when I Google lensed it, it was a Boy Scout pin. And uh, so anyway, we'll see. I'll have to figure out what that is. But there is a beaver. So. Nice, good one, good, good. Because they're they're like people say, oh, it's easy. Like it's not that easy. No, it's it's not that easy when you have to come up with a beaver every week. It's, yeah. it's pretty tough. So just to I give you give you a hint, I was in your booth, upstairs booth, the bigger one, and you have a beaver there that you didn't show. At my booth? Yeah. And okay, I give you give and tell you where it is. Okay. So you can show it. So there is some kind of jacket you have for sale. The the blue one? Maybe you sold it. It has all kinds of pins on it. Yeah, the blue one. It's upstairs. Yeah, There's the a pins. beaver? Check the pins. Oh, all right. So take one pin out and leave the jacket in the booth. <laughs> It'll probably <laughs> well hopefully it's sold, but uh it, it might be sold uh, like it might be sold already, but if not, that you have a beaver uh, just waiting for you to get it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it sold today. I would have known, but it might sell before I get a chance to go back there. So Are you going there probably tomorrow is no or tomorrow is holiday. Tomorrow's is holiday. Is it Monday? It's like vendor day. Yeah, I think we're closed tomorrow. Um, it was always day is, Mondays. Is one day one day of the month? One Monday well, of the one month? Day, oh, just once a month. It's in the it's in the middle of the okay. month. I see. Um, Marie, control your man. Wow. <laughs> They're laughing there. Uh, Adam likes the beaver with butter on it. Yeah, because we did the butter show on Snack Champ. Oh, I didn't see your last we one. We dipped everything in butter. It wasn't last time, it was two weeks ago. Last two time it was Ukrainian oh, snacks. But oh, tomorrow, tomorrow's Snack Champ show is going to make us famous. It's going to go viral. Really? Okay. Yeah, I can tell you what it is. You have to see it. So it's going to have more impact. Okay. Well, put a link there if you want. A link to your. Oh, it's a snack champ. Snack champ. Snack champ. I can put a comment so people know because sometimes people don't know what I'm saying because my accent. Yeah, snack champ is uh, Adam's new channel. He's been doing it for a couple months now, and it's uh, all about 
eating food. odd foods. Yeah, no, uh, just eating food and having fun. And I try to put some jokes in it, but Chap Chap would be good for it because his jokes are so original. <laughs> On the spot, he comes up with the jokes. <laughs> uh, good one, Chop Chop. Grochi is talking. Cheryl is definitely likes a variety of beavers. Wow. <laughs> I'm just picking them for the show. Uh, that's a respectable beaver. Yeah, well, thanks, Grochi. <laughs> it's a respectable beaver. <laughs> that's funny. And there it is right there, Snack Champ. Uh, Adam's close, close to 5,000. Really? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm over, just over 4,000. Not, I don't know. Well, I guess close, maybe. Huh. Uh Am I too old to join the Scouts? I want to earn a beaver badge. Oh, wow. beaver badge. Hey, that's a good one. Yeah. See, chap, chap again. <laughs> and there's a link to your snack champ. Thanks, Marie. Thanks oh, for thank you so much. Here. Yeah, well, I, I I don't think you're too old to do whatever you want. I think you're not too old to get the beaver badge. Yeah. Hey, we should come up with a beaver badge here. You know? <laughs> I was... <laughs> Oh, I can't even say this. Anyway, you can buy uh, you can buy beaver nuggets at Bucky's gas station. I had beaver nuggets. So a friend of mine went to the U.S. and they brought me a back a bunch of beaver uh, beaver nuggets, Bucky's, and uh, I had them as one of my items. That was one I showed that as an item once. Okay. Uh, they're like a caramel cheesy or something. Uh, 4.25k. That's Adam's show. Yeah, that's a oh. Snack Champ subscriber count. Nice. All right, we're on our fourth item there. Adam, where are we here? There we go. What do you got? Okay, this one's actually nice. I think. I don't know. Um, I did. I bought it because I'm like, it's an, it's nice. I'm gonna buy it, and it wasn't it wasn't expensive. But it's an old book. I think it's old, but then I was doing research and I'm like, oh, there is reproductions and we can like order one right okay. now. So basically it says the bank of the France. So like, oh, chop, chop, your way, your way there, you're just across the channel. And I, this looks, you know, this looks to me like there was a sticker, but this, the, the size and, and the shape looks like a what? value village price. <laughs> or cool. a library from a off. library? Does it got a stamp from a library? Inside? No, it looks like a value village price tag to me okay. i was there but whatever okay it's nice it has this box and then look how nice this book is gold gold everywhere yeah and and leather leather binding wow and bank the friends it's like com complete uh, i don't know uh like records or something and then from 1914 to 1918 and inside, like, like even wow, like, okay. yeah, the, like I just saw like the quality of the book looks so yep. good. And I did like Google lenses, but then the paper doesn't look that old. But here it kind of looks old. So it has those compete and compete compete. I, I don't speak French. This is 1915 and goes to all the way to 1918. So I'm thinking some accountant put it on the shelf, maybe a gift. Like I said. Just beautiful book, and it was only twenty five bucks. So my, I can probably sell it for more than twenty. Maybe I can make hundred bucks on this, like hundred twenty five. Okay. But then I saw like some reproductions. You can order books with this kind of binding and this kind of like bumps, like right now, like from two thousand eighteen. But then I took clo closer, and there is a date there. It says nineteen twenty one on the leather bind. So that this might be actually old old one. Okay. So there is a bunch on eBay listed, like same, same like this books, like this, yeah. but it's all paper with the staple, but it has the same cover. It's not nothing beautiful bind like this. And they're like, there is a bunch of them listed for like 60 euros, 70 euros, like a lot of these kind of records. So this is like different because this is like beautiful done book. Yeah. I'm like for 20 bucks, I got to get it. So I try to sell it for more. Yeah. Nice. It's it's French. It's Bank de France. We have Quebec buyers here. Maybe somebody from there will get it. And just to keep them in the library on the shelf, almost like a coffee table book, conversation kind of piece. Well, well the fact that it's in that cover. It's just it's beautiful good. condition, too. Like, yeah, it keeps it very high quality done. Nice. 
New I like books, dude. I like books. Books have been selling out of the booth. Books have been selling online. Like, books are really good. Uh, Bucky's is crazy huge. Sell everything except Beaver Tales. The Canadian Cavity Treasure. Wow. Cavity Treasure. And Beaver Tales. Yeah, we we have Beaver Tales here. But you can even buy the Beaver Tail, like the chocolate thing in the supermarket now. Oh, can you? But that, that, that it just says beaver tail. There is no beaver image on it, so I never got it for the show. Ah. Uh, chop chop, L M A O. I just saw you said that. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right, so I'll show this here next. Uh, I'll show this one. It was either I think I paid twenty or twenty five bucks at the auction. So let's say 25 bucks but one what's that for one it's just for one this one is a little bit different though Ooh. comes apart so now you can have one candle Ooh. or you can put three and then they these come off as well yeah. now, <laughs> it is plated on copper but i was watching lonnie and candace and they had some that were uh, gold or sorry, uh, silver weighted, which means they have a thin layer of silver, like a tin, over it. So you can actually cut the the sterling off. It was it was weighted sterling is what it was called, but it had the same design. So I, I don't know this one. I think I could probably get a hundred bucks if I go online. I think. Yeah, I, this design is popular. I, I had candle holders with this design, like this kind of curvature. Yeah. But it didn't come out come apart like that. I think I did sell them. Yeah, it's in like great shape, like hard, hardly any tarnishing yeah. or anything. And it's candle bra or something is called, right? Candle libra, yeah. Candle. But the, the fact that it comes off and then you could have like one candle. Yeah, that's that's different. Yeah. So we'll see. But I just thought it was kind of neat, and I was really hoping it would say. Because they, they didn't say it was sterling or anything, but I was hoping it would say like sterling uh, sterling weighted is, is the term. And that was on Lonnie and Candace. And they sold theirs for, it was much smaller. Like it was probably half the size and height. And I think they got like 130 or something or something crazy. Uh, that's a U.S. dollar. So uh, for Canadian, it's a lot different, right? So... First World War book. Your oh, yours would be First World War, like edition wise. Like uh, Adam, be careful with handling your green covered books from eighteen hundreds. The green dye is made of arsenic. Oh, this is blue, <laughs> and it's a nineteen hundreds. I think I she's talking that. about the the marble looking paper inside the inner cover. Yeah, well, it's too late now. <laughs> but the good, good point. Everybody, be careful, not just me. <laughs> well, you got beaver juice to. Uh, to and I to have dilute the and I had green ones, but they have cloth banding. Like the cover is cl green cloth, and it's yeah. 19, 1906. So hopefully they have green co covers. Hopefully they're okay. I would never, I would never, never knew that. Green from last week. There were nineteen hundreds. Last week, not 1800s, 1906 and 1901. So it's a good, maybe... it's a good point, though. Yeah, there's a very good point. Like, that's... <laughs> nobody's talking about that. Yeah, like you just never know. Like, a lot of the books I had were. I'm gonna remember this now for sure. Yeah, when I see, I'm gonna carry like some gloves in my pocket if I see green books at the or <laughs> put my gloves on and check the date. Yeah, I don't know how many books. Like I had yeah, three thousand. Well, you have, have three thousand books. How many did you handle? I yeah, I have all how three green ones. I I have probably about four or five hundred left. I have a few at the store, obviously, not counting those. I probably have about two, maybe two to three hundred left here. That's it. Wow. Yeah, we're going through them pretty good. So, well, that's a good point, Cheryl. That's very nice yeah. of you pointing that out. I I never knew. <laughs> I was wondering why you're acting a little odd last week, like you're well, you're <laughs> no, drunk, no. but it was the arsenic. Yeah, you, you just <laughs> fall over and you die. Arsenic <laughs> is like poison. 
All right, buddy. So your uh, your fifth and final item for the night. Well, it's a green book from 1800s. Let me get my glove. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, this is a, a cool. This is from antique uh, mar, fa, uh, farmer market. Yeah, Waterford Antique Market, and it's Canadiana because it has the maple leaf. But well, check this out. It's a soldier picture as the Canadian. Maple leaf and says Canadian. And again, convex glass. And on the bottom, it says for king and country. I don't get what king, because we had a, I think it was still a king. Queen was the in charge. And even on the like the back, the dealer, they were greedy and they looked inside and they ripped the whole paper backing to see what's inside there, to, hoping to find treasure. But nevertheless, I have the guy's name and location. It says Princeton, Ontario. So that's all the keywords I'm going to use. And this kind of military pictures with this framing, with this Canadian leaf and this wording, very rare to come by. I found one that sold like on online auction, like auctioneer.com or something. And the value was 200 to $300. Wow. I paid 60 bucks for this. So I'm gonna put it online for 250. Nice. World War Two. Is it World War Two or World War One? World War Two. And yeah, and it has the Canadian. It says Canada on, on his on his shoulder there. Okay. Nice. So military, milita militalia, militalia, Canadian military World War Two conflict. Uh. Great tip, show. You're very knowledgeable. Oh, absolutely. Well, sure. Like, what's that? Cheryl has all the knowledge. Uh, Princeton is less than 15 minutes away from here. Cool. Yeah. So it's Ontario. Yeah. It's it's, it's local. That's why probably it end up in Waterford. It's somebody. Well, Prin Prin a... Yeah, Princeton is like five minutes from Burford. So I I think it's very it's a historical piece. Like this, like there is military pictures on eBay. People ask like sixty bucks, but no, they don't have this kind of frame. Like the, the for the king and country and the Canadian maple leaf at the top. I think that that puts it over the top and makes it more interesting. And whatever I found online, similar pictures with the same frame, they they have all sold. And it it could it it might not be World War Two. It might be between the two, right? I think in World War Two. I, I, I mean, King well, was King in World War One. There is no uh, date. You know what? Like World War One, this wouldn't have this kind of uniform. I don't think. Wouldn't they like ride horses and stuff? Like the uniform to me looks World War Two. Okay, so yeah, King would be King George the Sixth. United Kingdom. Uh, well, Chop Chop would know, but uh, Cheryl yeah, would know. Fifty-two. <laughs> so he would have been thirty-six to fifty-two. Oh, uh, to, to 52? Yeah, king uh, on the throne for World Wars. Okay. Households were filled with the arsenic wallpaper, etc. Yeah, I, I watched a show about the wallpaper. Um, I'm looking up a great information deep dive to, wa to watch. The museum expert is hosted by... Vintage and Vinyl. YouTube Vintage and Vinyl. Okay. Interesting. I saw a documentary on that. What killed the Victorian people? It was actually worse, more dangerous to be rich than back then because they afforded all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, looks to be circa the 1930s. The wallpaper and that was all toxic, right? Looks to be circa 1930s. Dark Lord. Hmm, so that's before World War Two. Yeah. Hmm, well, I will do more research. I'll find out. I was yeah, be. World War Two started. Hey, earlier the better, I think, for me, because yeah. more rare. Because yeah, uh, yeah, interesting stuff there for sure. Yeah, Canadiana, like Canadian guy. Sure, I have his name and I have his location. It's pretty cool. I, I, I how the so, family didn't want to keep this, I don't get it. Yeah, who knows? It's crazy. So you're looking to get like a hundred, hundred twenty-five bucks or something? No, two hundred, two or two hundred bucks. Okay, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, whatever you, whatever they give. Yeah, you. yeah, five hundred million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
No, like oh. two to three hundred was the estimate at the auction that I found. So and that that was uh, at the Waterford Antique Market. Yeah, and then move next to yours. Oh, okay. Or your, your neighbor. Well, if you're facing my booth, right or left? It depends. What I don't know. Uh, not 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 Sarah's booth. The other people. Oh, okay, to the left then. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, that looks like something she. And I, I, I got I got stuff from this guy's booth before, and I flipped it for like over three hundred bucks before. So oh. I always look in there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my grandma had a picture of her brother who fought in World War Two, and it was in black and white. Yeah, this one looks like a, it's like hand colored again. It's like, more like an art than a picture. I don't think it's, a, it's it looks like a, almost like a painting. I mean, I might because it's already opened, but it has those like sharp uh, thingies there to hold yeah. it in. I don't want to bend them. I could bend them out and take it out, but then I make it more like wobbly and like damage. No, not damage, but it won't be so sturdy because I just leave it like this. I do. I'm gonna research it and I find out exactly what type of image it is. Maybe it's just like a printed image. It's not a photograph. For all right, cool, cool. Uh, my last item of the night. I bought two. One is in the booth. It's a different shape. It's going to be round. But I paid 20 bucks a piece. And it's slag glass. Uh, stained glass, you could say. Yeah. But it's just a little lamp. Probably That's from cool. the 80s based on the cord. They don't have some good value. Yeah. So I paid 20 bucks a piece. And I'll, I'll probably try to get 80 85 online. This one is just... It, great great shape so i'm going to put this one online the other one this tab up here was a little bit bent to the side so i put it in the booth <clears throat> and to be honest with you i would ask more than 80 bucks for this yeah so the other one i may bring back bring home because looking at the shade i don't think it fit that lamp like, I think they modified it by putting that shade on that lamp. I think maybe it was for a taller lamp because the base just doesn't look right to me. So I might bring it back and just try to sell the shade because I think for the shade, you get 100 bucks, right? So I, I've, I've sold sold slag glass on eBay before and, and got 100 bucks. So I would, would sell like that lamp for more than $400. I have a lamp, but the, like, the metal piece that holds the glass, like, broke off. Yeah. So I don't know how to fix it yet. I think I might have to solder it or something. I don't know how to fix it. I have to ask my metal guy. Yeah, that kind of it's like you a cast. Solder it, like I don't know. Just that the metal it's not cast iron, but it's like a casted yeah, metal. It's, it's, it's like very soft though. It like broke yeah. off. It broke off. Like so, the glasses I have the, everything intact, but just the bracket that holds the gra glass is broken. Okay. So once I get that fixed, I'm gonna list it. I think I have the listing already in like as a draft. <laughs> I mean, uh, if this if this was one of those older ones from like nineteen forties, like I I would definitely ask more. But I think this one's just a modern one. It's not very big, so I, I don't think there's more than a hundred bucks there. Like maybe I'll start at a hundred. And... But I don't know. That's just my opinion. Do you think yeah, it's worth the it? one I have? I have a draft listing, and the price is three hundred ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, but you probably got one of the older, nicer ones, right? Yeah, but this, because this, the thing, thing is broken, so I'm waiting for my buddy to come and have a look at it and if he can fix it for me. Yeah. Uh, so that's three's uh, my grandma. Okay, there we go. Black and white, yeah. All right. Yeah, this so... I might uh, be one then. I don't know. I'll so. find out. I didn't have anything super exciting, but they're just kind of your basic, kind of your easy to find stuff. Uh, I like your art there tonight, Adam. That was yeah, pretty those good. were surprises. I'm, I was like, I was gonna donate the frames. I'm like, what is this? I, I'm, and they took it up. I'm like, dude, that's like original art. I'm, I'm gonna list that. Could be Picasso or you know, <laughs> no, but it's still cool because I like for art. sure, a hundred percent, especially when it's miniatures like that. I seen some auctions where the miniature stuff actually did very well. Yeah. So well, this is the art can be it's crazy like it could be like jewelry right yeah could be a million dollar piece that you don't even know you have yeah what the one didn't the one guy find a drawing i think i might have been pencil crayon or something but it was by yeah. uh oh what's that crazy artist 
Pencil or crayon? It's a thing. <sighs> okay, I I have pencil crayon here. No, the the artist from. Uh... Oh my gosh, he's from California or something. I have this here for like five years now. Okay. It's a, it's like it's, 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 I keep it in this folder because in order to damage it, I bought it with a bunch of art at auction. Bonus, bonus. Bonus round? I think it's pencil crayon because I don't know what the media is on the paper and I don't know what to do with this. I'm like, ah, it just looks so cool. But look at this as a signature. It looks like pencil crayon. Like it's very waxy. It's like almost like those Caro Cry yeah, yeah. Corolla crayons or whatever they are. <laughs> But looks like uh, I just like it. It's so cool, and it almost looks like a photo. Yeah, it does. It's very realistic. It's like a driftwood, right? So I'm just holding on to it. I think it's very old, and I might, I might have somebody. Maybe I give Doctor Lori a call. Well, <laughs> and you put it in frame... the folder has like brown spots on it, like it's old. Yeah. But if this, you put it in a frame it's here behind my desk, it's been there for like years and years and years. Oh, that's a good point. Sure, oh, it could be a I don't pastel. Think it's paint, though. It looks like crayon. Could be a pastel though. Pastel would maybe look oh, like that. Not, doesn't look like paint. Uh, did the soldier come with the paintings? Um, no. This painting, I I have it for like five years now. And the soldier is separate. I got it at the antique market. Andy Warhol. That's oh, the Andy Warhol. Yeah, okay. Well, that's big money. Yeah, somebody found one of his, like, just a little thing, but he did when he was, like, 10 or 12 years old or something like that. So. Well, now you can retire from that. Yeah, pretty much. Pasto crayons. Okay, cool, cool. Might be, might be. Yeah, it's not paint for sure. It's like crayons. And some oh, people just watch like pastels. Like, well, Thank God she didn't go to bed yet. <laughs> 2 a.m. wake up time. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, were your sales in the booth this weekend as good as Pumpkin Fest? Uh, I can't really recall Pumpkin Fest, but they were really good. They were definitely really good. I was busy uh, two... on Friday. I couldn't even get any parking there. Like Waterford always has parking, but it was, I saw... it was just buzzing. The place was buzzing with people. Busy. I sold an item for 120 and I sold my spaghetti lamp for 165 and then a bunch of other stuff. I, might, I have lots of eBay sales. I think I'm shipping like 12 items tomorrow. I mean, on Tuesday, not tomorrow. So more sales to come tomorrow probably before I go to the post office. Pastels come in oils and chalk. Okay. I had no idea. That's why I'm, I'm holding on because I'm. I, I need to know. Pastel yeah, I got... crayon. So I can look at some pastel crayon art and online and but I will I need to feel it. I need to see it in person. I got five items going out tomorrow. And they have some the artist names on there too, so that should be should help. Yeah, so the post office is closed tomorrow, eh? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they are. It's not national holiday. Schools are closed tomorrow. Oh, are they? Okay. All right. I guess I'm not posting anything tomorrow. Yeah, you don't even. I mean, you might want to get the labels out tomorrow, so so you don't get penalized for late shipping. Because sometimes eBay doesn't know it's freaking holiday, and they might penalize you just to be safe. Yeah, maybe they know, and you would be okay to get well, the labels on Tuesday. I, I, I have a two day rule anyway, so I'm. Oh, you do two day shipping? Okay, so you're okay. I no. do one day shipping. I should be but good. Some people, anyway. you can even do same day shipping, which is insane. Then you get an order, you got to drop everything you're doing, and you have, you have to go get the label right away. Otherwise, you get penalized. Yeah, no, I uh, I have two day shipping, but I usually get it out the same day, if not the very next day. So yeah. I've never had a complaint with my shipping. I usually do like one day and get it out the next day. Yeah. Um, I just want to get it out of here anyway. So I don't, yeah. you know, if I'm around, I'll just. Set, set it up. All right, dude. That's another show. Thanks everyone for coming in. Anything you want to add before we go? Adam? Well, well, if you like beaver juice, uh, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now and hit the bell so you are notified and you can be the first 
guy or girl in the comments and you can beat Swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Swamp is almost unbeatable. Swamp is like the pro right now to be the first. <laughs> All right, Harry, Harry stuck around for the whole thing. Must not have to work tonight. Well, well, we're only an hour into it, two hour and 20 minutes. So thanks, Harry. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, I guess uh, that's it for me, too. Um, later. Later. <laughs> that's what yeah. he says on his show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Adam, for coming out. Thank you so much for everyone for coming out this week and, uh, you know, hearing our stories and seeing our picks. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next week. I'll, I'll try to ask Jamie. Jamie, uh, he's. I'll see if Jamie wants to come on next week. He uh, He's starting a booth in Delhi there. Oh, okay. So I, I think he gets that. April, in April, he's starting. Yeah. Uh, good show. Have a good night. Oh, thanks, Dark Lord. And yeah. uh, you as well. Cheryl needs to get Dark some Lord, you go and, and get some light. <laughs> and Swamp's making, Swamp's making money while he's watching the show. That's perfect. Wow. Nice. Uh, by all. Camp Wakasaki is calling. Uh, I hear you there. Uh, thanks for the show. My favorite way to spend a Sunday night. Thanks, Grouchy. Oh, wow. Always glad to Grouchy's have the Grouchy. Best. Here. My top fan. Ken? <laughs> Good to see Ken here. Hey, as, Ken. Uh, Thanks good for night all. Thanks. Thanks for watching, Ken. Thanks, Justin. Have a great week. You as well. Uh, should have watched later. Hamilton will feel like a longer drive. Ooh. I just Ooh, put it on cruise control and, and, and nap. <laughs> well, have a good day at work tomorrow, Cheryl. Hopefully you're not too tired. But we do appreciate you coming on and sharing your wealth of knowledge. So. Yeah. Well, I hope you get lots of sales. You as well, Chop Chop. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. It's got to be. I hope you sell everything this week. It's about two a.m. there now. <laughs> so maybe even two thirty now. Oh, jeez. So Cheryl's wake up time. Yeah, Cheryl's wake up time. <laughs> That's... All right. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you next Sunday, eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time on every Sunday night. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>